Hey everybody, this is Bridget Rays and I'm back with another stylish Bridgetism for you. As you may know, I have been in the middle of this series of what I call stylish Bridgetisms, which are terms that I have come up with over the years with clients and blog readers to help them better understand a concept I was trying to explain. And often they are metaphors or analogies. Um, and before we get into this week's Stylish Bridgetism, I am going to, of course, share with you what I have been knitting. So let's take a look. So um, this is a hat that is all sorts of cabled. I love it more than I thought I would. Um, it's a slouchy hat. Sometimes I put it on, I look like a Smurf. So I have to make sure I'm getting it on right. There it is. So it, it slouches and it's really easy. And I always like wear it to the gym cause it's kind of a little bit more, it's, it's not as precious as some of my other hats and, um, and it's really warm. Um, and it's called Agathis. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll leave a, a, a link to it um, below in the description box. If you're interested in making it, you have to really like cables and, and these really travel around, meaning the cables move around a lot. So um, I, I knit about half of it on a flight from uh, New York to Seattle. So just to give you an idea of timeline, that's like six hours. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's slightly ambitious, but it's not that bad once you get into the routine. Um, and as far as yarn goes, um, I don't even remember. This is just a basic uh, worsted weight yarn, 100% um, wool. Uh, I don't remember much more than that. So it's really pretty um, open to whatever yarn you would want to use, but it's, it's really, really lovely. Um, okay, so let's get into this week's Bridgetism. So as I have said in weeks past in this series, um, I often know the origin story of a Bridgetism, of a stylish Bridgetism. What was that moment? What was going on? Who was I with? Um, and um, I, I, I think this one is kind of funny because I don't know if I've ever told anyone this, not that I was keeping it a secret, but um, this week I'm going to talk about wishful wardrobing. Um, and that term was coined by my husband. Can you believe that? Did I ever tell you all that? My husband came up with that, with that, um, with that term. Um, I, I remember it. I remember being in my office and I, I remember him saying like, I have a great new term that you can use, wishful wardrobing. And He's like, yeah, it's for times when, you know, you, you dress for the life you wish you had versus the one that you don't. And I was like, okay, I'll marry you. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if he remembers this, but um, I have really made, I've gotten some mileage out of that one, right? So if you know me, you know wishful wardrobing. And for those of you who don't, wishful wardrobing means, like I said, it means that you buy clothes for the life you wish you had versus the life that you actually do. And we are all guilty of doing that, myself included. I've done it. Um, and I have used this term to stop myself from buying things where I'm like, okay, really, you know, like this is not my life. I remember there was just this amazing pair of like suede boots and my favorite boot color, cognac, and the heels were like two and a half, three inches. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, when you're working with clients, you're on your feet all day. You, you cannot wear these shoes. When you're not seeing clients, you're living in your super casual Brooklyn neighborhood and you walk because you're a New Yorker. So where, like how much are you going to really uh, wear them to justify the cost? So it, wishful wardrobing can really talk us down from buying things that, we're, that we want to buy simply because we think it's stunning and beautiful. And when we find something stunning and beautiful, we will make up reasons to wear some to buy something we will make them up we will you know oh i i'll i'll join uh you know oh maybe i'll start dancing or i'll i'll join that group or maybe i will start traveling more um i remember uh i had a client one time this is sort of a version of wishful wardrobing 
she uh, she wouldn't let me get rid of some of her more casual clothes. And she was like, well, you know, those are for home projects. Um, and I was like, okay. She's like, you know, like painting or whatever. So meanwhile, she lived in a New York City apartment that she rented and every one of her walls were white. So I'm not sure exactly what she was painting. So these are the things that you wanna like listen out for when you find yourself wishful wardrobing. Are you a stay at home mom and have like a closet full of heels and you've just bought more? Um, so wishful wardrobing can keep us from making emotional purchases um, when we keep wishful wardrobing in mind that, oh my God, we wish we could have it. Oh, you know, it's so beautiful, but really is it worth the money. So is it worth the money to spend on um, on this item just because it's beautiful? Um, and that will lead me actually to next week's video of Stylish Bridgetisms. I bet you know what it is. So uh, until then, um, be sure to subscribe to my video in the lower right hand corner. Follow me on all social media channels. It's at Bridget Rays on all of them except for Facebook. Facebook is at Bridget Ray's Style Expert. And also be sure to check out my Facebook group um, if you haven't already. Um, the link below is, uh, is best to find out more because we do charge a subscription fee, a very small subscription fee, to, uh, to be a member. Um, and we use that, uh, that money to, um, one, help uh, offset the cost of my involvement in the group. Um, and the other half of the revenue earned through subscriptions is donated to different fashion related and charities every month. So each month we come up with a new, uh, a new fashion related organization or charity to support. So, uh, so if, if you're wondering what we do with that money, um, that is where the money goes. So I hope that you will join us there in our wonderful community. And I look forward to chatting with you real soon.